Okay, here we are back in the ice caverns. Uh, two little things to showcase in this tiny area. Uh, one, there's a little marking on the wall right here that we never saw before. And all that means, that's the Ice Queen's symbol. So this wall, if you have the ice hammer, you can actually destroy this wall. And it's just a shortcut into her little lair. So rather than going around uh, through the Ice Sharga village, you can see here's that little grid area where her uh, where that boss fight is. So it's a shortcut in and out of there. The other thing in this part of the level is we can actually cause a cave-in by firing too many firebolts. So I'm going to do power three firebolt. Aimed here. You can see there were some ice switches. Those are the floating uh, ice balls. Um, so let's say they were there and I wanted to attack them with fire. I go a little bit overboard, and I actually cause this cave-in, which is not passable. I'd have to go around the long way. There's actually one more thing in this area. During the first playthrough, I came across this puddle, and we didn't know what it did. I thought it healed us. I drank from it. It didn't do anything. But, watch your stats. I'll take one gulp. It actually boosted her strength permanently. So that is what this little puddle does. Pretty cool, eh? 